absorb extra goodness. And hopefully you're getting a good seven to nine hours of sleep every night. Some of you are not, I know, I'm not always either. But during that time frame, it's a great time for your skin to rest. So having all the extra serums and creams on your face, nighttime is where it's at, especially if you have oily skin. So it won't affect your daytime oiliness at nighttime. So let's get started, okay? So one of the first things I invest in is I invest a lot of these little cotton rounds. And I'm gonna start off by using my Mary Kay Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. As you can see, it's not shaken yet. Always shake your eye makeup remover, if you didn't know that. The reason why, it's oil-free, and there are emulsifiers in this, and you wanna make sure you combine all the ingredients so that it takes off waterproof eye makeup as well as non-waterproof eye makeup, and the emulsifiers condition your eyelashes so they can still grow, just like when you put conditioner in your hair. It helps your hair stay healthy and grow. So I'm just pouring some of the eye makeup over on a little round pad, and I wear a lot of eye makeup. You see me do my videos, so you can see I wear a lot of eye makeup. So what I do is I like to put it on there and just gently tap it on my eye and let it sit there for a couple seconds to break down the four to five layers of mascara I put on. You know, if you don't have as much mascara, it doesn't come, it comes off really easily, you know, even just with one little swipe. But you can see how it's just breaking it down. I'm just taking off all my eye makeup and it's coming off on this little cotton round. And I'm just taking off my eyebrows and all the eyeshadow that's on my eye. What I like about this eye makeup remover is that it doesn't clog your tear ducts. It's oil free. So it won't irritate if you have lash extensions, if you have sensitive eyes or contacts, you can use it. My girls use it, they love this. I feel like we go through a lot of oil free eye makeup remover in my house because they also use it to take off other makeup on their face too. It's really gentle and I like to go underneath my eye line because I do wear eyeliner and mascara under my lash line. And you can see how I used both sides of the cotton round and I got off all my eye makeup. And sometimes what I do is I kind of like just blink up through my lashes just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I'm gonna do another one for my other eye. So the other eye, same thing, just kind of break it down. So if you haven't used the eye makeup remover, this is a fan favorite for sure. You can't go wrong with the oil-free eye makeup remover. It's also a really great gift to give people if you need gifts for people. Um, Mother's Day's coming up, lots of graduations. It's a great gift to give a teenager or a young adult. Um, I have not met one yet that doesn't love this eye makeup remover. Uh, it's just one of those things that once you start using it, it just becomes your favorite. It's always written up in the magazines. It's always um, has a good housekeeping seal of approval. Uh, so it's really, it's really a great product. But you do wanna make sure you get all your eye makeup off at night. And the reason why, ladies, is because there is such a thing as eye mites. <laughs> and you can Google it later, you don't really wanna see it. Um, but it, they're microscopic and they can nibble at your eyelashes while you're sleeping. So you wanna take off your eye makeup for that reason. Um, also because of bacteria and clogging um, your tear ducts as well as breakage of your lashes. Those are all the reasons why you wanna take off your eye makeup. You don't want your lashes to break. If you've ever felt like your lashes get crunchy because you've like maybe layered too much mascara on or you went back in at the end of the day and layered more mascara on top of dried mascara. No good, it can break your lashes. So this will help your lashes grow and not break. So I took all my eye makeup off, ta-da. Now, step two, I'm gonna cleanse my skin. Now, I haven't talked about this a lot, but I personally, this is my personal routine, I'm showing you my personal routine, I promised. I double cleanse. Why do I double cleanse? Well, I double cleanse because I have makeup on. And double cleansing, you can Google it if you want to, is a thing. And what I'm using, I mentioned in my daytime video that I do use three different cleansers throughout my routine. I'm right now gonna apply the 401 3D cleanser all over my face. This is typically the one I use at nighttime. I keep a bottle of the Volufirm Foaming Cleanser in my shower, which is this one. Let me show it to you. This is the one I keep in my shower because it gets really foamy. Oops, it gets really foamy. I keep that in my shower. And keep in mind, we always wanna cleanse our neck. So I'm just gonna add a little water to my hands. Try not to make a lot of noise, I know it's loud um, with the water running. So the more water you add to your cleanser, the more creamy or foamy it's gonna get, okay? So really getting it on my face and your neck. 
this ages twice as fast as your face, ladies. Do you ever notice some people have that chicken neck and it's really noticeable? It's because they neglected to take care of their neck. So make sure you get your cleanser down your neck. So now what I'm gonna do is take my cloth and just wipe all my cleanser off, okay? And I'm gonna just use a face cloth to get all of that off. And this cleanser is a cleanser, a toner, an exfoliator, and a skin brightener all in one step. It's easy to use. You can leave it in the shower. Now, I wear full face of makeup every single day. And the biggest challenge, I guess I could call it, that I hear from, like you can see the makeup coming off, that I hear from women is, I'm so tired at night. I don't fall asleep without taking my makeup off. I know it's so bad for me, but I do it anyway. So here's the thing. You definitely want to go, not go to sleep with makeup on. It ages you seven times more. Seven times. That's such an easy anti-aging fix to wash your face before bed. Now, I know you're tired. And as I'm getting older, I'm getting tired earlier. <laughs> and I'm trying harder and harder to go to bed earlier. Is anybody else a night owl, night owl out there? So while I'm talking to you, I'm actually prepping my next step. I did mention I double cleanse. This is the Skin Vigorate brush. A lot of you have this brush. And I'm gonna use the same cleanser or any of the other cleansers would work to use a, do a second cleansing step. It just really helps get all the makeup off my skin if I, in case I missed any steps. But also, using the skin brush really, really, really helps get into the pores. It cleans 98.5% better than if by yourself. And this brush, um, pulses and doesn't rotate it pulses so it's sonic and you can kind of hear it the, the brush head can be replaced every three months and it can be kept in your shower so it is something that if you like to shower at night you can keep this in your shower because it is rechargeable and it's gentle for sensitive skin so my skin is really sensitive i have my daughters using this because I don't know about you, but I have one daughter who's really, really good. See, there's nothing on the brush because I double cleansed. Um, she's really, really good at taking care of her skin. She does a beautiful job, no questions, don't have to harp on her. And then I have another one that I have to, I literally pay her to wash her face, and I'm not even kidding you. I pay her, she's money motivated, and I made a deal with her that if she washed her face, every time she washed her face outside of the shower, um, I'd pay her a dollar. <laughs> So I have one daughter that I'm paying, bribing, whatever you want to call it, but I look at it as, you know, she's money motivated. So it's a good teaching opportunity, right? There'll be some times you can make money really easily and other times you're going to work really hard for it, right? <laughs> well, this is a really easy one and it makes me happy because immediately her skin is clearing up. She's having a lot of that preteen acne. Her skin is completely, completely changing and it's all clearing up. So it goes to show that... Hey, I know I'm the Mary Kay girl, but I even have a kid who gives me a run for my money, all right? <laughs> so now my face is cleansed, and I just wiped it off with a clean face cloth to get all the cleanser off my face. The double cleanse is just a really great way to make sure you get all the makeup off your face, and using the skin brush just gets into the pores a little bit deeper, and it's also great for a very gentle exfoliation. So because tonight I am doing my nightly routine, this is not a special night, meaning I'm not doing any skin treatments, I'm not doing any face mask, I'm not doing my clinical solution retinol tonight, just a regular old bedtime routine. Next step I do is I'm doing my botanical toner. And I think I mentioned this to you before. Um, I'm gonna get my little pad out. I'll show you where I keep my stuff too. So this is a little toner. The toner just closes the pores I'm a toner girl. I've been using Mary Kay since I was 14. And our one of our original skincare sets had a had a toner. So I grew up using toner. And I just love the way it feels. And it's bring this is dragon fruit and aloe base. It's fragrance free, it's alcohol free. A lot of toners are not alcohol free. Um, so I just love how refreshing it is and how it makes my skin feel like it's nice and pulled it in tight. <laughs> so that's the toner. And I, as that's soaking in, I move right on into my eye cream step. And I mentioned many times before, I do double eye cream. So I use the 3D eye cream. A little bit goes a very long way. Always tapping it under your eye, towards your nose, always going away from gravity. Because if you did this every day, it's going to pull those wrinkles 
more in this direction. Always go away from gravity. This is a really lightweight eye cream. It helps uh, moisturize for 12 hours, wrinkles, fine lines, it brightens. I love this eye cream. So I'm putting it all underneath my eye, okay? And a little bit on the lid. I only do my lids at nighttime, not in the daytime, only nighttime. Um, unless you have really dry eyes, then you certainly can do it in the daytime too. So now that eye cream is on, I do use the Volume Firm eye cream. Now remember, I'm talking through all this. This does not take as long as I'm talking through it. I have an audience and I now I'm just talking my way around. All these things are flying through my head. So I'm telling them to you, but this takes me probably less than five minutes every single night. So again, I'm using the Volume Firm. I'm going back towards, back and forth towards my nose, away from gravity to get all the fine lines and wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness. And this also is the one that has the lifting agent in it. So I am making sure I'm slathering that on my lids because I don't know about you, I'm 42 now. I'll be 43 in June. And I'm noticing my lids dropping a little bit more. So I'm trying to pull those those up as far as I possibly can with my eye cream. <laughs> okay, so now my eye cream is on, my skin feels so good. Have you guys ever used the botanical toner? You have to try it. If you, next time you um, you want to try something new and you're, and you're talking to me, just let me know, I'll give you a little sample of it because if you haven't tried it, I think you would enjoy it. So now I'm stepping into my skin serums. Now here's a tip for you. If you're using any of the skin serums, they always get sandwiched in between your cleanser and moisturizer. So no matter what cleanser or moisturizer you're using, the Mary Kay line, you always sandwich it in between. The reason why is because you want these yummy, yummy serums. I'm starting with my vitamin C and E serum. I usually do about two pumps, just kind of dab it on my forehead, my chin, rub it into my skin, just like this, all over. And it soaks in really quickly. A little bit goes a long way. And I always do my neck. The vitamin C and E serum is one of my favorites. Very lightweight. And I love that they uh, changed it and they have the new E in it because that's very healing to the skin. And I love it also because it has a little window on the side where you can see where you are and the using up of it. So you kind of know when you're running out. I wish they had that on all the products, don't you? Okay, next serum. I do let this soak in my skin first before I, I layer serums, but this is almost dry already. I do my advanced lifting serum. This is probably my favorite because it gives you the most bang for the buck. It's um, the strongest, I think, in the serums. It definitely um, is great to apply to your skin while it's still a little damp. So if you aren't doing multiple serums, you're only using this one, you know, if your skin is still damp from washing it, you can go ahead and reapply it right after washing because it is a little bit of a thicker consistency, but it's not thick feeling. It just is very rich. And this one is gonna help with wrinkles. It lifts the skin. It's gonna help with um, that double chin issue. <laughs> it's put lots right there. <laughs> no double chins. Always go up like this to your neck. Because so remember, we're going away from gravity. We want to make sure that we do not get that chicken neck. So we don't want to do this. We want to do this. Away, away, away. Okay? So now that is already soaked into my skin. All of the, think of your skin serums as packed with nutrient-dense nutrition. Think of it as your main course in your dinner. Like you might have your steak and your potatoes and your vegetable. All of that's where we get our nutrition for our body. Your skin serums are the same. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to apply my, I actually apply the facial milk um, because I have rosacea and I just like the way this helps my rosacea. It's very calming to the skin and soothing to the skin. So I do use this step of the clinical solutions day and night. Um, again, this is just a personal choice thing, but I like, cause I like it so much. And then I follow that up with my night cream. And I go back and forth between the 3D night cream and the TimeWise Volume Firm with Retinol night cream. So tonight I'm just gonna use the 3D night cream, so that's what I have on my hand first. And all you need is about a little bit more than a chocolate chip size. Again, you tap it, chin, cheeks, forehead, and your neck, and you just massage it all over your face. The reason I recommend doing the tapping that way you don't get it all on one side. If you tap a little bit of it all over your face, you'll evenly distribute it. Um, so that's a great way to help you get enough on your skin and moisturize 
evenly. So now I'm ready pretty much for bed.